Hi everybody! So a Reddit user called Tysins posted the first public third party benchmarks of AMD's upcoming flagship T8 Core Ryzen CPU. The benchmarks were made by CPC Hardware, a legit French magazine. So let's look at those charts. The first part shows stuff we already know from AMD's own benchmarks. Ryzen does very well in multi-threaded content creation and beats an i7 6800K. So this is already great, as we can see that AMD did not promise too much with their early benchmarks. Now the second chart. Here is where stuff gets really interesting. Gaming. We see the 8-core Ryzen CPU running at 3.3 GHz, placing itself between a Core i5-6500 and a Core i5-6600, and it's more than 30% faster than an FX8370 at 4 GHz. So at the first look you would say, well, okay, it's obviously much faster than the FX, great. But having it placed around an i5-6500 might be disappointing for some folks. But let me tell you, it's not. These results are really great, and here is why. It is the games that have been tested, and their usage of multiple cores and threads, and the time a CPU can use its turbo clock. It turns out most games tested here don't give a damn about more than two or four cores. For example, if we look at some CPU benchmarks of Anno 2070, here an i7 with two cores performs like an i7 with three cores, four cores and so on. So actually this game doesn't give a damn about multi-threading. Then Arma 3. Here we see an 8-core FX at 4 GHz, almost performing the same like a FX 4-core processor at 4 GHz. Far Cry 4. Here we see a 4-core FX beating an 8-core FX, probably due to its higher uh, turbo, co turbo core clock. Then Battlefield 4. Here also we see almost no difference between a 8 core FX at 4 GHz and a 4 core FX at 4 GHz. So that leads to a situation where base and turbo clocks that have not been finalized yet with Ryzen become much more important than the number of compute cores. An i5-6600 for example can go into its pretty high turbo mode at 3.9 GHz in games like Arma or Anno and the 8 core Ryzen only goes to 3.5 GHz and leaving the other 6 or 7 cores mostly untouched. What these benchmarks show is one thing. I'm almost certain that this is what AMD wanted this hardware magazine to show us. The performance impression of AMD CPU has completely changed here. Where in the past the FX only did well in heavily threaded content creation benchmarks, as we can also see in the first chart, but could not really compete with i5s and i7s in heavily single threaded games, now Ryzen destroys the rest in content creation and does pretty well in games that let most of its threads or cores unused. It also shows us that Ryzen's IPC pretty much matches Skylake's IPC value. As we're still waiting for final clocks and more Ryzen models, it's clear that AMD is definitely on the right way if their foundries don't let them down again. If you like this content, give it a like, otherwise, see ya.